As most of you probably already know, Twitch has seen a huge influx of DMCA takedown requests for clips containing copyrighted background music. And a lot of creators out there are really worried that their channels are gonna get shut down and they're wondering, how do I download and save my clips? And how do I delete all of my clips on my channel? So this video is gonna be really straightforward. I'll show you a method and how to download all of your clips uh, and keep the titles and the views for those clips uh, saved as well. And then I will show you how to delete all of your clips all in one go super easily. So let's get straight into it. All right, so the first tool here is called Twitch Clip Manager. And this is the best one that I've found so far because it A, preserves the titles of all your clips and B, will preserve the view count for all your clips within the file name title. Uh, it is called Twitch Clip Manager, created by Dane Fairbanks. I'll put a link to this down in the description below. And it says it will download and delete Twitch clips. Now I've had an issue with this actually deleting my Twitch clips. It hasn't worked for me, but as far as downloading my Twitch clips, it has worked flawlessly and it's been really fantastic. There are two different versions you can download, either the stable version or the experimental version. The experimental version will allow you to filter via um, low or high view count. Um, now for me, I just wanna download everything, so I'm not gonna go ahead and worry about downloading the experimental version, but if that's something that interests you, feel free to download that. And once you download it, it will come into a, it'll be a zip file and you can unzip that file wherever you would like, but make sure you have enough disk space wherever you're unzipping it because that's where all those downloads are going to live. Um, so in the clip manager folder, once you have it downloaded, um, you'll see that there is a publish folder and then there's clipmanager.exe and clipmanager.pdb, which is not really important for us right now. <laughs> but uh, before we actually hop into that, you're gonna wanna head over to this GitHub page here and copy this text that says cookies auth token. So once you copy that, you can head over to any page on Twitch where you are logged in. Um, and I'm just on my channel right now, which you can actually follow down in the description below if you're interested. Uh, and once you're on any page on Twitch where you're logged in, you can hit F12 in Google Chrome, and it will open up the console for Google Chrome over on the right side. Now there are a bunch of errors here, just ignore that. That's probably due to some of the Chrome extensions that I have installed. Um, but you'll see you're, you're able to actually put text into this uh, console. So you're gonna paste the text that you just copied from over on that GitHub page, and it will give you your auth token. Uh, now, you won't be able to see my auth token right here just because I don't want you guys to have it, but trust me, it is right there, and I'm gonna go ahead and copy it, and you should as well. Now, copy it without the quotes. That's very important. There will be quotes around it. Just make sure you're copying it without the quotes, and you're gonna wanna head back over to the clipmanager.exe. You're gonna wanna go ahead and open that up. It's gonna open up a command prompt right here. In this command prompt, uh, you're going to want to paste in auth token. I will do that right now. Uh, you will not be able to see mine, but I am pasting it in at this very moment. Hit enter. You'll see there are a, there's an option for types of clips. Do you want to download my clips, which are clips you've taken, or channel clips, clips of your channel? So I would like to download clips of my channel. So I'll hit two. Download Y or N, yes or no. So hit Y, hit enter. Delete, yes or no. Uh, I'm gonna just say no because deleting wasn't working for me uh, anyway. So I hit no. And uh, right there, I know it closed for me, but it will start downloading all of your clips and it actually creates this download folder within the Clip Manager uh, publish folder that will have all of your downloads in here. Now, I have already deleted all the clips on my channel, so that's why it, it just closed right there because I don't have any clips to download, but you'll see that it will start to download all of those clips that are on your channel. So now that you have all of your clips downloaded, let's work on deleting them. There's a really great tool created by Commander Root uh, who has created a lot of very useful tools for Twitch. And uh, I'm just gonna go through the steps right here. Uh, and feel free if you have any issues with Commander or with this tool, feel free to tweet to Commander Root and tweet to Dane Fairbanks. I'll put their Twitters down below um, because Dane Fairbanks is the one who created this tool. So if you have any issues with that, feel free to let them know. And for Commander Root, feel free to let them know if you have any issues deleting any of your clips here. So first things first, you're gonna wanna install the Tamper Monkey browser extension, which is right over here. So feel free to install that. I've already installed it into Chrome. And then you're gonna to want to install the clip removal script. So I've gone ahead and clicked right over here. 
and it will have an install button right here. It says reinstall from me, but you're gonna wanna click install right there. And then you're gonna wanna go to twitch.tv slash script or clip remover. And once you do, it'll look a little bit something like this. And once you're in here, uh, you can actually set this to delete only specific clips if you want to, but if you want to delete all of them, just leave them all blank. It'll say, hello, The Real Spoons, because you're already logged into Twitch, so it'll say your name there. And then it will uh, you just click remove all matching clips, and it will remove all the clips on your channel. And that's that. It's really that simple. There's two very easy tools made by the community here. Uh, one to download and delete Twitch clips. Although, like I said, I've had an issue deleting. So if you have any issue deleting, make sure you use the second method that I talked about with Commander Roots tool. And it's as simple as that. Um, now, also, if you guys are curious about, you know, what kind of music can you actually play on uh, on your stream. There's a fantastic playlist that I listen to all the time. It is called Stream Beats by Harris Heller. I'll put a link to it and the text to it in the description down below. Really fantastic playlist. It's all um, owned by Harris Heller and he is allowing anyone to use it for YouTube videos, streams, any sort of content that you can think of. He allows you to use it completely copyright free. Well, it's copyrighted to him, but he won't DMCA strike you or anything like that. Um, so it's really fantastic. So definitely check that out if you're kind of like, kind of upset, obviously, that like these strikes have been happening and you don't know what type of music to play. Definitely go check out the Stream Beats playlist. It's on Spotify. It's on YouTube. It's on Apple Music. It's on Google Play Music, probably. It's just a bunch of different um, platforms. So definitely check that out. And I hope this video helped you out, folks. Uh, if you did enjoy it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And also follow me over on twitch.tv slash The Real Spoons. Uh, I stream every Tuesday and Thursday night, and I'd love to have you over there. And if you have any questions about the videos that I've created, feel free to go ahead and catch me when I'm live and ask me there. Happy to help out. Also, feel free to join the Discord channel down below, and uh, I can help answer any questions you have over there. So thank you for watching, folks. Appreciate it as always. Have a great rest of your night or day or whatever time it is for you, and I'll catch you next time.